हेलो बच्चा पाटिल वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द रिविजन वीडियो इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज द चैप्टर नंबर थ्री एंड चैप्टर नंबर फोर सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज फाइबर टू फेब्रिक इन विच वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द टर्म फाइबर फाइबर इज नथिंग बट लॉन्ग थीम इलांगेटेड थ्रेड लाइक मटीरियल इज नोन एज फाइबर After that we have seen what is yarn. If we spin or twist two or more fiber together, it becomes yarn. We have seen in our explanation video. After that there are two types of fiber. One is natural fiber and another is synthetic fiber. So what do you mean by natural fiber? A fiber that are obtained from natural resources. and what do you mean by synthetic fiber the fiber which is made in laboratories by human being by us using chemicals are known as synthetic fiber in synthetic fiber they have given three example nylon rayon and polyester for standard 6 you have to just remember what is synthetic fiber and their example you will study this synthetic fiber in detail in your coming standards so don't worry in natural fiber they are obtained from two main resources one is animal sources and another is plant sources so what are the example of natural fiber that come under animal sources that is silk and wool and we have studied about cotton and jute okay after that we have learned ginning spinning weaving and knitting these four main processes are explained in this particular chapter in the process of ginning the separation of fiber is done after that that separated fiber converted into yarn in the process of spinning and after converting into yarn that yarn is converted into fabric with the help of weaving and with the help of knitting this both processes are used to convert yarn into fabric okay in the process of weaving two sets of yarns are used to make a fabric while in the process of knitting only one set of yarn is used to make entire fabric okay after converting into fabric it converted into clothes which we wear okay then we have also discussed some tools based on this processes okay so this is the quick revision of chapter number 3 and we have already discussed each and every topics in detail in our explanation video that's why i am not explaining each and every topic in detail because it is the quick revision so this is for chapter number 3 let's move to chapter number 4 so in chapter number 4 that is sorting of materials into group we have started with the word sorting what is the meaning of sorting it is arrangement bachcha party if you focus on this revision video i am guaranteeing you you will understand each and every explanation video so please pay attention okay this revision videos are made for you only okay so chapter number 4 started with the word sorting what is the meaning of sorting that is nothing but arrangement arranging a particular objects or material okay so we can arrange material or object based on their shape based on their color based on their material and mainly based on their properties okay then we have seen varieties of materials or object around us as we have seen in chapter number 1 there are variety of food available in chapter number 3 we have seen variety of cloth and fabric available similarly in chapter number 4 we are going to learn about variety of materials available and for grouping this material or sorting this material we need to understand its properties okay so we have discussed mainly five properties namely appearance hardness soluble and insoluble then floating or sink and finally transparency we have discussed each and every property in detail in our explanation video so let's quickly revise what are this property in appearance we have discussed about luster a shiny nature of a material or a substance 
and dullness of a substance. Some substance appear shiny, they have luster, especially metals. Metals are shiny in nature. And how to test whether a material or object is having luster or not? We can rub it with the sandpaper. Then we can feel or we can observe its luster. Then some of them are dull, some of them are smooth and some of them are rough. After that we have studied about hardness. How material is press, compress or scratch. If it is compressed and scratched easily then it is a soft material. And if it is hard to press and scratch then it is hard material. After that we have seen what is soluble and insoluble. If a material or substance easily dissolve in a water, then it is soluble in nature. And if it is does not dissolve, if it does not dissolve or disappear in a water, then it is insoluble in water. Some of the liquids are soluble in water as well, and some of the gases are soluble in water as well. We have seen the example of water animal and water plants. Why solubility of oxygen is needed in water? So the growth and survival of water plants and animal becomes easy. Okay, we have already discussed that. After that, there is the concept of floating or sinking. Some of the material float on the water and some of them sink under the water. And finally, there is the concept of transparency in which we have learned about three concepts. First is opaque. Second is transparent and what is translucent. If we can see an object clearly, then that is transparent material. If we can see object but not clearly, then it is translucent. And if we do not see anything, then it is opaque. And finally, there is a one simple paragraph based on this. What is need of this grouping? That also we have discussed in this chapter number 4. So, this is the quick revision of the chapter number 4. With this, we have completed the quick revision of all the 4 chapters. In part 1, we have discussed about chapter 1 and chapter 2. In this part 2, we have discussed about chapter number 3 and chapter number 4. I hope all of you have watched this video carefully and understood the each and every concept carefully and if still anyone has any doubt please comment down below or message me so we can solve your doubt okay students